Welcome back to Orlando, Florida. As promised, our U.S. Swimming World Championship Trials coverage continues with the women's 200-meter individual medley. This will be for length of the pool. The world record is held by Uta Gevenegger. She set that standard back in 1981. But the American record is held by Tracy Calkins, a mark she set at the Olympic Games in 1984. Earlier, we spoke with Tracy Calkins, who was at this swim meet, about the status of United States swimming. Since she has decided to retire, who will fill her shoes? Does she think the U.S. is still strong? Well, I'm really encouraged by what I see in the American women's swim team. After the 1984 Olympic Games, when a good part of our team retired, I thought, uh-oh, you know, there's going to be a lot of places to fill. But I think they've done a really good job. We've got a lot of leadership in Mary T. and Betsy Mitchell, who are just swimming fantastic. Michelle Griglione is going to be swimming a lot of events. Um, very versatile and strong swimmer. And then it's real exciting to see a lot of new young faces coming up that have a lot of talent. And I think after they get a few years of experience, they're going to be really some great swimmers. And some of that young talent will be swimming in this event in lane one. 18-year-old Julia Gorman, the youngster, 14-year-old Tanya Williams in lane two. 18-year-old Monica Nielebeck, Michelle Griglione, the favorite, in lane number four, just 17 years of age. Lane five is Andrea Hayes. Christy Wolger will be in lane six. Susan Rapp, the veteran at age 20, will be in lane seven. And Karen Kramer will be in the outside lane. She is 16 years old. I think you've got to give the nod to the center lane fastest qual qualifier in the preliminaries, Michelle Griglione. She's 5 feet 9 inches tall, 126 pounds lean. She's the winner of the 400 meter event, which gives her another added advantage mentally. Now, the people to watch are going to be next to her, Andrea Hayes in lane 5. She's from Pensacola, 17 years of age. Uh, she's 6 feet tall, and that height will come into advantage in the, in the freestyle going to the wall for the last lap. She also won the Phillips Award for the 200 backstroke earlier on. And in the outside lane, Susie Rapp, you called her the veteran. She, Olympic silver medalist in this event, a lot of experience, never count her out. She's done well on injuries, so she's always a threat, even from the outside lane seven. So Susan Rapp, an outstanding breaststroker, Andrea Hayes, an outstanding backstroker, but Michelle Griglione, the one that you like the best, is in lane four. She's already won the 400 meter individual medley. She finished seventh in the 203, and that's in this meet. She also finished fourth in the 100 meter butterfly. I think it's important to note that, that momentum helps out. Now we're, we're, we're over halfway through the meet. We've got athletes who've got momentum going for them. Winning, winning early events helps them uh, win later events. The IM, all four different competitive strokes. Butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and any other stroke in that order starting one length apiece right now. We ought to see the lead change hands as the strokes change. Strokes 200 meter strengths. individual medley. Take your mark. And we have a clean start. This is four lengths of the pool, as you said. Butterfly is first, and after that, it's alphabetical order. Michelle Griglione going out for it, it seems. Lane four, that's four from the bottom. She has got a very, very aggressive stop. She just jumped right in the water and started to swim away. She is a strong butterfly, or as I mentioned, she finished fourth in the 100-meter butterfly in this meet. Your look how she swings her arms wide and continually throws her head down after she breathes. It helps her get her shoulders into the water, her hips high, and helps on the kick. Touching first, however, at 50 meters was Julia Gorman and Tanya Williams in the outside lanes, but now Griglione has broken away with a fine turn. Now, the different, difficult thing here, unlike, say, the decathlon that Bruce Jenner competed in, there's no break in between strokes. You're going from muscle groups in the upper shoulders and the butterfly. Now you're doing the muscle groups in the backstroke, the lower legs and the shoulder twisting uh, to help backstroke along. So it's a real difficult transition. Griglione and Hayes in lanes four and five. As you look at, at Michelle Griglione in lane one, Julia Gorman still looking very, very strong. It looked like she was uh, uh, doing an extra kick into the wall coming into the backstroke. She better have a good breaststroke. The leader at the end of the breaststroke usually has the advantage. She is off the American record pace. Her split there, you see it, at 103.7 is off Tracy Calkins, 102.49. Look at her lunging forward. Nice, strong kick to push her hands forward. A little different from Jenny Howe's chicken lady breaststroke. That's true. She's keeping nice and low. We've got a big charge coming out here from lane two. At five feet five inches, she's the shortest swimmer in the water, but a great breaststroker. Now speed is of the essence. Can you Three run her down? Absolutely. Very important. A one-stroke lead in breaststroke converts to one and a half to two-stroke lead in freestyle, just because breaststroke is a slower stroke. 
Michelle Griglione, 17 years of age, swims for the Curl Swim Club and will attend Stanford this fall, is our leader, called Alexandria, Virginia, home. She's breathing both ways, checking out to see where her competition lies. And they're not there. Nobody's She's there. ahead of them. Michelle Griglione, way out in front, easily a body length ahead of her nearest challengers in lanes two and seven. Michelle Griglione, our winner, her time 2.15.71 which is better than her personal best. The best she has ever swum this event was 2.15.94, so she's got to be a happy lady. Her time again, 2.15.71. That may not be an outstanding time when you compare it to the world record, but for this young gal, she's unaccustomed to, to her role of leadership on the U.S. team. The Tracy Calkins were always there. Now she's got to bear the brunt of that leadership responsibility. As you predicted, Susan Rapp finished second. Now, one of the important things I noticed in her race was when she swam the transition from backstroke to breaststroke. Notice here she's coming in halfway down the race. Here, she's hesitating a little bit and stalls her kick into the wall. And that's, that's a question of, of experience. I think she might have been able to take another quick half stroke or rather begin taking shorter strokes earlier on. And on the finish here, easily, all in hand. She, there was no one near her and a good stroke all the way to the finish. You wonder what her potential is. If there was somebody near her, is she capable of a 2-12 or 2-11 if she's being pushed on that freestyle leg? She'll, we'll, we'll all get to see how well she does at the World <laughs> Championships in Madrid, and that is a very big question. Can she right. do it against the bigger guns? The official results show 2-15-71. Michelle Griglione, our winner. As you predicted, Susan Rapper, closest rival, finishing second. Tanya Williams, third. And Andrea Hayes,